Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a, a video about what is a irrational number. So on the first page, you're going to take notes with me. And then the second page, there are going to be some problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so, so far you've learned already what a rational number is. And remember, a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, right? And the, the fraction has to consist of integers. So an irrational number are numbers that are the opposite of rational. And if you put a star right here, here's the, de the definition. Irrational numbers cannot be written as A over B, where A and B are integers and B is not zero. So when written as decimals, irrational numbers never terminate or repeat. So let me give you some examples of uh, irrational numbers. Let's say we have uh, the number pi. Pi might be the most famous irrational number ever because pi is a number that goes on forever. It doesn't repeat, it doesn't terminate, and it just, it just goes on forever, and that's what makes it irrational. Um, another example would be something like 0 0.4316 dot, dot, dot. Okay, those dots mean it keeps on going. If you notice, there's no pattern to these numbers. So that would make that irrational. All right, another example, and these are more common, would be something like the square root of, say, 11. All right, well, we know the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4, because those are nice, perfect square numbers, right? But if I try to come up with the square root of 11, if I type in 11 on my, on my calculator and hit the square root button, which is right here, notice we get 3.316624. There's no pattern to this number. And if we had a bigger calculator, it would go on forever. All right? So irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as fractions. And when they're decimals, um, they're decimals that don't repeat and don't terminate. So over here it says, which of the following numbers are irrational? Well, this one, number four, is rational, right? Uh, excuse me, negative four is rational because we can write that as negative four over one. So that's rational. Uh, the next one. The square root of seven, well, let's try that one. If I hit clear, type in seven, and hit square root, notice we get a number that, that has no pattern to it, and it's gonna go on forever. So this one certainly is irrational. All right, here we have the decimal of 0 0.16548, dot, dot, dot. That means it goes on forever, and there's no pattern, it's not repeating. So this certainly is irrational. Here we have the decimal 0 0.828282. So this decimal is repeating, all right? And because it's repeating, that's rational. Here we have the, the uh, mixed number four and an eighth. And four and an eighth can be written as an improper fraction, which is 33 eighths. And that makes it rational. And finally, we already mentioned this, but pi is the most famous irrational number of all. So this certainly is irrational. So remember, key characteristics of irrational numbers, they cannot be written as fractions. And if they are decimals, uh, they go on forever and there's no pattern to them. All right, so now that you understand what an irrational number is, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did with these practice problems. So we want to identify the numbers that are irrational. So remember, these numbers that are irrational, they cannot be written as fractions. So let's see, 4 ninths certainly is rational because that's a fraction. 3 eighths is rational. That's a fraction. Now this decimal terminates, right? So it stops. So that makes it rational. Uh, here we have the fraction 9 fifths. That's a fraction, so that's rational. Over here we have negative 50, which is really negative 50 over one. So this is rational. Um, the square root of 25 is five, and we can write that as five over one, which is a fraction, which makes these rational. Um, this one down here, 0 0.1616. Well, this repeats. So because it's a decimal that repeats, it's rational. So now let's go back up to the top. Here we have 0 0.6453231141 dot dot dot. This decimal has no pattern and notice it goes on forever with the dots. So this is our first example of a irrational number. Here we have um, 5.2345.
And again, dot, dot, dot. Now we don't know what the next number is gonna be, right? It could be a seven, it could be a one. And again, there's no real pattern. Even though these go up by one, that really doesn't matter that much, all right? If the next number was a two and then a three and then a four and a five, well then maybe it repeats. But this is another example of an irrational number. And then finally, the square root of 40, if we test that with our calculator, we type in 40 and hit square root, we get 6.32455532. So again, there's no pattern to this number, right? So that makes this certainly a irrational number. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?